Beat the Chasers continues tonight with a new quizzer on the panel. Dark Destroyer. <laughs> How are you, Bradley? Sweet. Good. Got to ask you this. What's it like having Issa Schultz, the Australian chaser, sitting next to you? What's it like? It's so good that I've written a poem in his honour. Oh, no. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Why has it gone groaning? Here we go. Here we go. Oh. <clears throat> <laughs> the Governess and Isu. A poem hey, by Schultz. <laughs> Isu? I'm Issa. Oh. No. Oh. Isu. <laughs> That went very well, Sean. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Really good, oh, thank you. Oh, and really good to be back and be yeah. the chasers. It just works, doesn't it? Yep, it certainly does. Yep, it fantastic. does. Fantastic. And as we saw a new, a new member of yes. the team, yeah. how competitive are all of you? Pretty much? When it comes to fighting for the buzzer to try and get an answer, uh, Jenny and Paul and Mark are just super lightning quick. So, um, you know, if I can get in, I get I know, in. No, that's the thing, because you know it. Yeah. It's just getting there. It's just yeah. getting onto it. It's just getting onto it. You and Bradley as well. You were the first one, weren't you? Yeah, I'm the world's yeah, first chaser. You're the yeah. first chaser. Yeah, so I did the uh, initial uh, auditions from December 2008 to April 2009. Wow. Then once they were satisfied that uh, it was going to be uh, a runner, they then brought in Mark. So we did the uh, pilot at the old uh, Granada Studios in Manchester. Jeez. And here we are 13 years later. It's incredible, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Did you know, though, I mean, being somebody who loves quizzing and who loves all of that, and and did you know this is it? We've got the format. It's, this is going to run and Both run. myself and Mark thought that this could go. Uh, and when they brought in Anne for the second series, that's when we really knew it was going to take off. Then, yeah. as I say, everybody who's been uh, a chaser since Paul, then Jenny, then uh, the brilliant uh, Dara, uh, it's just been fantastic. And, uh, you know, we're just one big happy family and we really, really do get on really well. It, you can tell. Yeah. You can absolutely tell. And especially you and Bradley, you've got a really good bond because you're both virtually the same age, aren't you? There's well, as it. I say, when I first uh, did, we did the first pilot, uh, it was the day before my 49th birthday and that's when I realised, that's the first time I saw Bradley was going to be the host and I right. thought we struck up a good relationship and I said, oh, by the way, it's my birthday tomorrow. He goes, that's my birthday two days later. <laughs> so we're like twins from a different mother. So we really, really get on really well. You do, you can tell that, yeah. you can tell that. How do you work it with your day job and this as well? You know, you're a barrister, of course. I, um, how does it work okay, the balance? Is it does, right? because uh, I've got a really supportive set of clerks at my chambers, Great, J Great Jane Street Chambers in London, and, uh, you know, they support me in terms of uh, knowing when uh, when I'm not filming, then it's back to my day job. So sure. uh, it's been fantastic, and uh, I owe them a great deal. Of course, and it's great that you can you can do that. Yeah. Do you still get people, though, when you represent them, going, oh, that's that man of Jane? <laughs> yeah, I do, and uh, obviously jurors would recognise who I am, but it's a completely different scenario. Uh, I'm is. not Sean Wallace, the darkness jury, I'm Sean Wallace, the barrister, and, uh, you know, that's how it should be. Absolutely. I love that you say that, I mean, you know when people talk about role models, and obviously you, you are, but you say you're a goal model, yeah, a yeah. goal model, yeah, a not goal a role model. model. Absolutely. What do you mean by a goal model? Uh, it's about setting goals for myself that people can sort of look up to inspire and hopefully go past and surpass. Uh, right. And as I said to you, I'm human just like everybody else. We all have feet of clay. And uh, <laughs> if you sort of put somebody on a pedestal and they sort of fall from yeah, a great yeah. height, uh, like Humpty Dumpty, it's hard to put them back together again. So. Uh, I'd rather be closer to the ground and set goals and challenges that way. I think that's really good, though. Yeah. I, I, really, I really do. I think it's fantastic. And, of course, you were the mastermind champ, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, 18 years ago now. Is that 18 years ago? What made you decide to go on mastermind? I mean, because, I mean, I, I think that has to take a little bit of, well, gosh, courage, apart from anything else, and, and self-belief also. Mm, as a little <laughs> kid, uh, I watched the very first episode way back in September 1972. Gosh, with and, Magnus uh, Magnuson. Yeah, with Magnus Magnuson. <laughs> yes. And... Um, I always wanted to do it. So I couldn't do it in the 80s because obviously I was preparing uh, to try and qualify as a lawyer. Of course. And I thought I was going to do it and do it and do it. And you know what they say about procrastination? It is a thief of time. Uh -huh. So when they took it off in 1997, I thought my chance had gone. Uh, and when they brought it back, I wasn't going to let that chance slip. And uh, I think one of the re you do need a bit of luck allied to talent. But what really helped me uh, is my training as a barrister. And I'm forever grateful for the way in which I have trained as a lawyer because I've used those transferable skills, you know, thinking on your feet, researching, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. being fearless, not being frightened to get a question wrong. So, you know, I owe the bar a great deal. Um, so I'm just really grateful that uh, See, I'm in the profession I am. The nerves, the nerves would, would, would get to me. I did that thing where you burrow round and round, is it the wheel? Yeah. And I had to ask, and I, I literally, I froze. Well, that would have made me dizzy, actually. It I did, was, actually, yeah. it does. It, it, it goes quite fast. But, I mean, I've appeared in the terrible. Court of Appeal, so... If well, I can you see, appear, yeah, yeah, OK. If I can appear there, <laughs> I can appear anywhere, yeah, so... Exactly, yeah. the nerves are not going to be the same. No. But you had a slightly unfortunate incident with the trophy? 
Uh, not happened? one, but two. Because oh, um, uh, I used to bring the trophy into school so children can touch it and be inspired by it. And uh, the last time, which was exactly almost 10 years ago, uh, I had my wig and my gown in one hand and the trophy in a, uh, in a box in another. And the, uh, one of the teachers came up to me and said, do you need a hand? I said, I'm all right. <laughs> And it crashed and smashed. And it smashed. But uh, mm -hmm. I still had to give the presentation because, um, you know, the kids were waiting for me to give that presentation and that's how it goes. So. And that's it. It's just in a wee heap of nothing and you don't have it anymore. That's so sad. Wouldn't it be really nice if you could get a replacement? I wonder if we can do anything about that. What do you think? <laughs> da, 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 da! Look! We got you one. Shall I go and get it? Yeah. Da, 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 da. Oh, gosh. I need to be really careful. What if I, what if I drop it? That's all right, I've got a good time. Oh. Let me present you with oh. your lovely trophy that you can take round the schools again. Yeah. And it's oh. all gorgeous. There it's ten are. years to the gate day I've held this, actually. <laughs> That's what I did. I felt like Bobby Moore lifting the World Cup when I won this, actually. So, uh, I bet you did. It's really, really good. Oh, the guys really at nice. Mastermind wanted you to have that and wanted oh. you to make sure that you had it because you so, so, so deserved it. Sean, thank you. Oh, thank it's you, lovely Lauren. to see oh, it's you. Lovely. It Look really at her. is. You and know what these are? These are the nine muses, actually. They are indeed. Isn't it yeah. a beautiful, beautiful. That's Clisto. That's Cleo. <laughs> She's Not so Clisto. clever. He knows them all. He knows them all. I used to. Be the Chasers continues tonight, nine o'clock. And Wednesday, ITV. Thursday, and Friday. I know. Yeah. I know. It's great. You yeah. can't. We cannot get enough of you. Thank Don't you. forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations, and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now, and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one, or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.